In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Visor Create. Visor Create is a visual programming editor. It can be used to create programs without actually writing writing any code. So how do we do that? Let's let's make a quick example. I'll I'll show you a number on the screen. So first, I'll search for display in this search box here and double click to add this display. And then I'm going to add a slider. So I'll search for a slider, double click to add it. And here it is. This box here is what we call plugin. These plugins are the um, atomic parts of, of Visor Create. They are the basic functions. And they have inputs and outputs. This slider actually has only an output, this value here. So I will connect this to the display. So I'll click and drag from the value to the, to the input of this display. And now I will press play and I see the number. If I tweak the slider, you can see the number moves. I can disconnect connections by holding the shift key and clicking on the, on the outputs or the inputs. You can see they turn red. If I hold shift and hover over the header of the plugin, it turns red and if I click, it's gone, it's deleted. So, I'll add another one. Let's add a clock. And let's add connect the clock to the display. And we can see the clock is running on the, sc on the screen. Visor Create has over 200 plugins that perform a range of functions. If you right click, this context menu opens. And this is another way of, of adding plugins. We have plugins for displaying 3D graphics, displaying video, playing audio, doing maths, logic, many, many different things. So we have two ways of adding plugins, either search in the search box here or right click and use the context menu. With the search here also, uh, we can search for presets and presets are like pre-made modules that perform more complex functions. This display is a preset, so it's a yellow box instead of white, and the yellow boxes uh, contain plugins inside. So if I click the edit button, you can see I went inside it, and with the middle mouse button, I can scroll around. And these are the plugins that make the text display. On the top left corner, we have a breadcrumb, so I can navigate back and forward. And on the right hand side, we also have this tree view. So this is another way of navigating the graph. I can click the root or go inside the display. OK, that's, that's the very basics of it. Check out our videos for more information. Thank you.